Hey everyone, in this week's video I wanted to do something super simple and I've been seeing this trend quite a lot lately on Instagram and I guess it's called black chrome or gunmetal chrome and it's super super easy. It's so much easier than doing the the other mirror chrome. So if you want to see how I did this, just keep watching. I've already applied my Dashing Diva nail guards and that's why my nail looks shiny and I've also cut and shaped stiletto tips and glued them on. Now I'm just applying clear acrylic all over the nails. I haven't quite mastered the one ball technique yet so I just apply about three or four beads of acrylic depending on the length of my nail and I don't apply them too thick because that just means I have to file a ton later on but I also don't apply the acrylic too thin just kind of in between works. The last bead of acrylic goes near my cuticle and I try to get it as close to my cuticle as I can without actually touching my cuticle because that can cause lifting. When I'm placing the bead near my cuticle, I like the bead to be a little bit on the drier side so that it doesn't flood my cuticles. And when I'm applying the bead near my cuticle, I try to work as fast as I can and just pull down the acrylic towards the length of my nail and smooth everything out. I use the Young Nail Speed Acrylic System and they say it dries in 60 seconds, but I like to wait about 2 minutes so that the acrylic fully dries. Then I go in with a 100-180 grit nail file and I thin down the acrylic and shape the sides. I know some of you prefer to use a nail drill and it is way faster, but I just prefer using a hand file because I have better control of how much I'm filing and I don't have to worry about the nail file slipping and cutting my skin or anything like that. So most of the time I just prefer using a hand file. Now when I'm doing, when I'm filing um, my acrylic nails that I've encapsulated, <sighs> Once I file the nails and I'm happy with how they look, I just brush off the excess acrylic dust and next I'll be applying black gel polish. Here I'm applying black gel polish and this gel polish is really nothing special. I think I paid three bucks on eBay for it and it is fully opaque in two coats so that's awesome. And after I apply the first coat, I cure it under my UV lamp. Yeah, I still use UV. I know everyone loves using LED, but I just prefer using UV. And I cure it after the first coat, and then I apply a second coat and I cure again. And this gel polish, as with most gel polishes, leaves a tacky layer, but you don't want to remove it. Not yet. Okay, so I've already cured the first layer of black gel polish. Now I'm going in with the second layer and I'll also cure this for another two minutes in my UV lamp. When working with gel polish, you wanna make sure that each layer is thin. If you apply the gel polish too thick and you cure it, it sometimes it will burn. It'll feel like a stinging pain. That's because you've applied it too thick. And also, if you've applied it too thick, it will cause the gel polish to wrinkle or bubble, and you don't want that. So just be sure that you apply the layers very thin, even if you have to do two or three coats, it's totally fine. After 
curing the second layer of gel polish, you will notice that the nail is a little bit tacky. You don't want to remove this because now it's time to put on top coat and this will give the top coat something to stick to depending on what top coat you're using. The one I use, the nails have to be filed rough, but even if you put it on top of gel polish, it still works, but it works better if you leave the tacky layer on. And after I apply the top coat, I cure under my UV lamp and soon the chrome magic will happen, so stay tuned. Here's the powder that I'll be using to create the chrome effect. Now this isn't your typical chrome powder, it's not silver. This is actually just a shimmery white powder, but once you rub it on top of pretty much any nail polish, gel polish color, it turns it into a chrome effect. Not your typical mirror chrome, but it just has a really cool chrome effect to it. So I just repeat this on all of my nails and now looking at it, I really, really should have used some of that liquid latex. It would have made cleanup a lot easier. However, I forgot, so what's done is done, I guess. brush to remove the excess powder from my nails it kind of just smears it into my skin but we're just trying to get it off of the nails so that we can apply top coat and here's the finished look with these black chrome slash gunmetal chrome stiletto nails and if you're curious how the hell I got off that chrome powder I just after I cured the top coat I just went in with a, um, a nail brush and some alcohol and I just scrubbed the crap out of my skin and that removed it without it harming the uh, the nails because I applied top coat first and that's what you want to do if you have the glitter and stuff on around the outside of your nail you want to finish your design apply top coat cure it and then go in and clean up the glitter that way you're not messing up the nail design I'm using the same gel top coat that I used underneath the chrome powder. On top of the chrome powder, we're going to sandwich in that chrome powder. And this leaves an ultra high shine and it's when it cures, it's not sticky. You just apply it, cure it, and you're done. <laughs> 